Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage 21-059. This is in a C keyway in a 626 finish. This is a cylinder that's used in the S251 block. And this video is to simply serve as some visual evidence of the item, um, primarily just showing you what it looks like. This is going to feature a threaded cap. This has come with two um, O-bitted five pin blanks. The part number of this blank, should you want to know what that is, is a 35-100C, a genuine original blank. And this is what the cylinder looks like only. This client ordered this cylinder, well actually they ordered the locks um, for this project and there's almost 200 of them on the job now. It's a uh, condo building, an apartment building really, um, in the near west uh, part of Chicago. And this is what that cylinder looks like only from the, uh, the lever trim of the uh, S251 lock, which is a interconnected lock, is what the S-series was. Schlage's interconnected lock was an H-series. That's been discontinued. There may have been one before that. It may have been called the G-lock, but I don't recall if that was interconnected. I know the G-lock had a removable core. Um, don't quote me on that, I don't recall, but the S-lock is the current interconnected lock that they offer, which means you'll have on the outside either a free operating trim, meaning no cylinder, and then a deadbolt, or you're going to have a keyed cylinder in the trim along with a keyed deadbolt above, but the interconnected, regardless of the function, passage below or keyed lock below, from the interior side, You'll just rotate the trim and it will retract both latch bolts if the deadbolt's thrown, um, allowing immediate egress in a single action is the bottom line. This is going to be available with that face of that cylinder plug in either the 626 finish or in the 606, which would be satin brass. They could probably do the face of that in their 643E, which is like a powder coated dark brown type color. Uh, etc. Rekeying this is quite simple. It's a threaded cap. There's a pin and spring there. You'll unthread that. You'll move the, remove the cap, the tail piece or driver, the spring, the pin, and you'll be able to repin that like you would any other lock. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at some supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here's the item that we are looking at, but let's take a look at some photographs that we have. There's the box. It says right on there, S200 series key in lever cylinder. The contents of the box, the cylinder itself. This is called the Bible, by the way. That's the feature of the cylinder housing that's referred to as the Bible. That's where the springs and the driver pins reside. Front view of the broaching and then an up close view showing the broaching of the C keyway. This keyway has been around since the 1930s, I believe, something in that range. Side view of the cylinder, looking at the back side. Then your two original keys are there. Okay, now there is a link below this video to a document called Product Brochure, and it's an overview of the S series lock. Okay, it's what it looks like on the outside. Gives you an overview of everything. And the cylinder we're dealing with is obviously right here. The available trims. And that interconnected or linkage all occurs underneath this backplate. On this discussion that's here, that's where that all that linkage occurs. On the exterior, you can add this trim should you want to make that look more like the interior. They apparently don't have an oval version like they would for the flare. Different finishes on the locks themselves. Now the reason that I show this document to you is because, well you might like to know the overview of the system, but there is a reference to cylinders here as we scroll through. The issue is they don't put this part number here, the 21059. Cylinders for top options. Cylinders for keyed levers, bottom options. They just don't put the part number here at all, is the bottom line. And in fact, I don't know that they even have it in the price list. Let's take a look. 
and I'll do a find function on the keyboard for 21-059. Oh, it does show up. Okay, so there it is. Yeah. All right, so if you're in the S set, well, where are we at here? We're in the, we're in the cylinder section of the price list, obviously, and they do show it here. Now, the important part about this is you can do this cylinder in a Primus. You can, you can do it. You can do it in every platform, I think. Well, I don't see Everest here. You can do it in Primus. You can do it in a UL437 version of Primus, uh, which is a hardened, um, more resistant cylinder construction to attack, picking, impressioning, drilling, things of that nature. You can also do it in their SL technology. That is a very different type of approach to cylinder construction speaking specifically about the pins inside of it or the wards that make the cylinder work correctly it's a very deep dive into schlag um, cylinder construction technology the point is is you can do the standard in either open or restricted keyways um, or an example of a restricted keyway would be a quad keyway or like the reverse of the Schlag C is the Schlag D. It's, the, it's just drawn in reverse. It's going to literally look like this, symmetrically turned around. Nothing necessarily special about it, um, except to say that it's considered restricted. You'd have to fill out paperwork to get your hands on that. You won't get that key blank just anywhere, that's to be sure. Um, And as I'm looking at this, I realize that's the S series, which is just the not the interconnected. We ought to be looking here, so I apologize. It appears as if the all the same logic of everything I just said applies. It's just a different table. They can do this Primus in the XP as well, which is added technology to it. Uh, the SL is pretty neat. If you uh, wanted to look that up, you'd be if you're interested in cylinder construction. This is a wholly different take. On how cylinders are put together. So there's our part number. You can do it in lots of different platforms. Uh, they don't list finishes available here, um, but 606 and 626 you can count on, obviously. All right, now let's turn off the voice recording for some reason. Now below this video here is a link to the manufacturer's page. From here, you can pull up not only all of the Schlag products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog here. And other encyclopedics, uh, pardon me, other encyclopedic documents are on this page, such as, such as the Schlage Everest 29 SL service manual. The Primus service manual is here. I know the Everest service manual is here somewhere, right here, Everest. I have a cylinders and key blanks quick reference guide. That's a fun document. If you don't remember the part number of the key blank that you need to order, it's going to be here. I don't know if the S series is here at all. 21-059. Oh, it is. Right here. Schlage S series levers. It's a quick cheat sheet, so to speak. And then finally, there's a link to the service manual. That's over a thousand pages of exploded parts drawings as it pertains to all things Schlage lock related. And as we wait for that to load, um, I will put the cylinder back in its box. I would like to have that load and we'll see if we have anything on the S251. I don't believe there is any component of the service manual um, for the interconnected locks, unfortunately. Yeah, apparently not. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, in conclusion, if you have any questions on this Schlage cylinder or any other Schlage cylinder product, please feel free to reach out to us. Schlage is characterized by exceptional technical support every single time. They are an amazing example of professionalism when it comes to a expert command over the subject matter. To them for that, I say thank you. Any questions on the 21059 or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, 
Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.